they say when the weather's inclement, we must do inclement things. So today's another day for building an antenna. Just rummaging through some, some plumbing bits and pieces. To try to find, uh... God, I need a light. I need a light. Here we go, right. So, and just uh, fumbling through some bits to find and try to find the uh, the pipe cutters and uh, some bits and pieces so that I can build another magnetic loop uh, this time at a 22 mil copper pipe um, and uh, I want to put an air space capacitor on it rather than the uh, trombone capacitors that I made last time um, so I'm just going to try to find some some bits and pieces Bit of fun, right. centimeter lengths of pipe or 62 762s I'm taking the measurements from a website called Non-Stop Systems. Frank, thank you very much. Call this up. Yeah, so this is Non-Stop Systems. And there's the cutting list. Okay. There's a cutting list on his website, uh, which is in the, uh, the comments below. And I'm copying this design um, today apart from the fact that I'm not going to be using a vacuum tube. Uh, I'm going to be using an airspace capacitor. But I thought I would uh, copy this design, uh, with the exception, again, I'm not going to be using a, a ferrite at the bottom. I'm going to be using a, a coupling loop, a Faraday loop. Um, so there's a few changes. But the basic design is this one. And now the link is in the bottom. Right, let's get on. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, 62.5 centimeter long lengths and two at 31. Nope, at 30.75 centimetres. Right, two at 30.75 because we've got a gap in the middle, a centimetre gap in the middle. centimeter a big enough gap is a centimeter a big enough gap for so many volts do you know what I'd feel a lot happier if it was more like three centimeters in between okay well the same principle can be reused I just need to reheat it and pull it apart I'll do it again space so that uh, there's no flash over capacitive will join here yeah quite pleased with that cool yeah truly a heaven made match
the shears finished. Well, the outer loop's finished. 1.52 meters in diameter. Okay. Time to make a bottom loop for the Faraday. The Faraday loop, whatever you want to call it, coupling loop. And we'll see what its natural resonance is before we put a capacitor on. Well, after a couple of hours in the garage, we're back in the kitchen and um, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Give you some idea. It's, um, it's a big old loop. Um, I'm going to mount that on a 10 foot uh, fiberglass pole. Uh, one of the decorators uh, poles, a fiberglass pole. Um, I'm going to put a capacitor on the top here um, and uh, I shall put a freestanding loop, not one that's earthed to the uh, to the outer loop like I did with the uh, the other one with the trombone version. Uh, I just want to see what resonance this is. I won't put a capacitor on it yet. I'll, I'll uh, check the resonance first, see what band it's on, uh, if any. Uh, see what frequency is resonant and uh, we'll go from there. It's big. Love it. Absolutely love it. Hold it up first of all so that it can't fall down the pole like so. Uh, now we need to make uh, the Faraday loop uh, for this magnetic loop and uh, the magnetic loop is five meters uh, in circumference which means that we need 20% of that which is a meter for the Faraday loop. So I've used Andrew's Helix as the uh, loop. I'm about to prepare it and solder the cable on and uh, we'll see. We will see if it works. So here's our Andrews. It's um, incredibly good stuff. No two worries about it. I'm only going to use the outer shield. I'm going to make a solid um, loop. I'm not going to do it a shielded loop or, a, or any other type of loop. Just a standard loop, working in my own light. So that's not particularly clever. Well, good stuff. Good stuff. Let's see if I can do this one as neatly. Yes, indeed. Excellent. So 
so we won't. Damn, that's good stuff. I like that. That is definitely my preference. Okay, so here we go. Here's our uh, our loop, and I put a, a flattened. Um, that means the loop's not big enough. I need to make it larger, or it won't couple properly. Anyway, so at least we know that goes to our MFJ. So we leave the flash on. It's dark, so. So at 27 megahertz, which is an 11 meter band, it's naturally resident, resonant. 27 megahertz band 27.7 to be absolutely precise which is pretty much um, the UK 40 FM uh, which means it's actually usable for um, for DX on CB excellent uh, you could shorten each of the legs by uh, about a centimeter and that would bring it lower onto the 27 megahertz band so it would be spot on for triple five uh, for instance. Anyway, okay, so there's a use for it uh, if uh, the guys out there in CB land want to play with a magnetic loop uh, without the need uh, for a capacitor. Super. Okay, next release uh, will fit a capacitor to, uh, to the loop um, and tune it for the 20 meter and 40 meter bands, ham use, um, and perhaps even uh, create a second loop and, and put it in so that we have a twin um, copper loop. Uh, now that would be something exciting. Uh, and we'll see if we can get that to work on the 80 meter band. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, and if you don't, well, that one works as well, unfortunately. Thanks very much for watching. Keep in touch. Cheers for now. Bye bye. Sharp intake of breath, count to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep you up to date. Will it ever stop raining? That's the question, isn't it? If you uh, like what you see, please uh, put the thumb uh, up uh, and subscribe and, uh, and forget about the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Not put a capacitor on it yet. Uh, and it tends and it tends and it tends and it is. Uh, ho, ho, ho. So you could use it for DX, good stuff. In fact, very good stuff. Now we've seen that it is resonant on, resonant, resonant, resonant. It uh, resides, resides, uh, vibrates. 
Uh, <laughs> ah, okay. And... Uh, <laughs>